Okay, so I'm going to be making a freeform bowl, but I'm using a mold just for the shape, the general shape. And <clears throat> I'm using all countercul counterculture resin, the Bray, Bray Reese uh, alcohol inks, Armor Art White. So I'm going to put aside maybe about two ounces, which is probably still more than I need. I'm going to put uh, a couple ounces for around the edges. I've dripped in the silicone mold, but that's okay. So I'm going to put some uh, gold leaf. So I'm going to take this and pour it around the edge. So there's some chunky bits, just uh, separate them. This gold leaf's been sitting for a while, so I'm just checking it out to make sure I've got it broken up. I've got 12 minutes on my clock since I mixed it because I'm wanting to do a white petal kind of thing, so I want to keep an eye on that. I'm going to put some Armor Art White and Alcohol Ink. I've not tried this version before the way I'm going to do it, so I'm curious to see how it'll pan out. Okay, I'm going to pour the rest in here. So I'll be paying attention to the warmth of this white. I'm going to put just a little bit of Sparkle White in by Etsy Funshine Color Shop. Stir it away from the mold so it doesn't go landing in the mold. The, all the sparkle because it flies through the air when you first mix it in. Okay, in the middle I'm going to put some gl bright gold glass bits by Lara's Art Corner. Sometimes you need to get up above it to uh, kind of make sure you're in the center. This was about 14 to 16 ounces of resin for this mold. It's not totally full, but that's okay because I'm going to be forming it to make a bowl. And I don't want it to be super thick because then it's hard to maneuver. A little bit of gold leaf left in my cup. I'm going to put it in there in the middle. Mix it in with those little glass bits. Try to keep it centered and not floating out too much. I'm at 18 minutes. Getting closer. Okay, so I'm just going to stop. start dropping ink in. It's magenta and now I'm going to use purple. I'm going to keep going out and I probably don't want to go any further. And this is probably too much alcohol ink. I'm not, I'm not sure because I've never done this technique before. Put this in the cup. Got a piping bag. I'm at 22 minutes. I probably should have tried this on a coaster first instead of this, but hey. Take my skewer. No idea what's going to happen. 
and I want this to be a little bit warmer so I'm going to be waiting on my time. It's still not very warm but I'm going to go ahead and pipe it. This is one of those things where you're not going to know what it looks like till you unmold it. And um, I'm not sure if the gold is going to be uh, tacky when it sets up because I've done this before and the gold kind of stayed mushy on top of a coaster. I may have put way too much gold in. This is just something I'll have to just kind of wait and see what this is like on the top. It may end up having to be a platter instead of a bowl if, uh, if I need to put another coat to seal in that gold. So this is one of those that I'm kind of not sure what the results are going to be or how I'm going to pursue, proceed with the experiment. I should have gone smaller and tried it first in a coaster or something and I didn't but we will see what happens with it. You don't want really fire with alcohol inks because it will fire, it will spark a flame. So you gotta be really careful with that. This might be a masterpiece and it might be a huge failure, but you never know until you try something right. I'm gonna put this over the top and wait uh, several hours. This is medium viscosity, so it's not fast set. It's not going to do anything super fast. So I'm going to wait and come back, and I'll let you know how many hours I've waited. And I'll show you the results to go on to the next step. Okay, so it's still flexible. This, surprisingly, is not tacky. Um, it's been four hours and 18 minutes since I mixed my resin. So uh, we're going to bite the bullet and see what it looks like on the other side and, and hope that it's pretty, but I don't have a clue. I think it's going to be wonky. One piece of blue glitter in the very middle. <laughs> this is pretty though. This is pretty. It's not what I expected, but it's still pretty. So I'm going to place it Ooh, it's sticking to the bowl. So it's going to be a little off whack, but that's okay. It's trial and error, just learning. Uh, I'm going to leave it like this. So things stretched a bit on this side, which makes the color uneven, but you know, I'm not really worried about that. And there's the bottom side, which is like a smooth gold. 
alcoholic so I probably the next time I mix up some fast set I will probably coat this right before it sets up with some fast set just to give it a nice clear finish so that it can be hand washed you know, if it needs to be. Uh, I like the overall colors and it didn't turn out the way I expected but I still think it's pretty. That gold does not really sink though it kind of stays on the surface as you can see but overall I think it's still very lovely and I think it'll make somebody a, a happy home gift uh, in the Etsy shop so I'll finish completing it the way I want it to and then put it in my Etsy shop. It's been 11 minutes since I mixed it. I've got a mask on if you hear me sounding funny. <laughs> I like to use a mask with this particular resin. It's fast set. taking my mask off so I can talk. Just kind of sort of wanting to get it centered, but some glass bits. So with the facet resin on top of it, some of the alcohol ink is coming through the uh, magenta. So that's kind of nice. Um, and the edges were kind of rough from adding the gold leaf on because this was the top side so it kind of blended in with the texture on the very edges but it didn't like pour down into the mold that I have it sitting in so that was a good thing too. That resin is very powerful smelling so I'm going to give it an hour or so and I'll check back and make sure it's okay. Make sure this is steady, and it is. It's pretty firm, though. It's tacky, and it's not really going anywhere, so I should be able to leave it okay. I'll be back. Okay. The facet set up. I sealed in that gold on the bottom side, so it's nice and shiny. It did great on the edges. It didn't drip over. Uh, got the little glass bits. The gold glass bits around the edge. So it's a pedestal and then it sits on the pedestal. And you know, it's a little wonky, but I like wonky. So that way you can see. I love it! Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So fancy. So there is a beautiful counterculture resin bowl on a pedestal. So I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next video. Check out all the links below the video. Come join my Facebook group with Heather Mater. We are doing auctions every few months. We've got one coming up in March on St. Patrick's Day week. Stay tuned for that, and I'll see you next time. Love you all. Bye-bye.